Hello and welcome to the Bible Knowledge Quiz Channel. Today, we've curated 15 challenging questions to test your familiarity with the Holy Bible. Are you ready to prove just how well you know the Scriptures? But wait! Before we dive into the quiz, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Every like and subscription helps us spread the Word of God even further. And once you're done with the quiz, drop a comment below sharing how many questions you got, right? We'd love to hear from you. So, are you prepared to embark on this biblical journey? Let's dive into the video. Question 1. Who was the first man created by God? A. Abraham B. Cain C. Adam D. Noah Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Question 2. Which animal tempted Eve in the Garden of Eden? A. Lion B. Serpent C. Sheep D. Eagle Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Genesis, chapter 3, verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Question 3. What did God send to destroy the earth in Noah's time? A. Fire B. Earthquake C. Flood D. Wind Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Genesis Chapter 07, verse 17. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased and bare up the ark, and it was lift up above the earth. Question 4. Who was sold into slavery by his brothers? A. Isaac B. Aaron C. Joseph D. Samuel Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Genesis, chapter 37, verse 28. Then there passed by Midianites merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver, and they brought Joseph into Egypt. Question 5. In which city was Jesus born? A. Nazareth B. Jerusalem C. Jericho D. Bethlehem Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Matthew, chapter 2, verse 1. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Question 6. 
Which disciple denied Jesus three times? A. John B. Thomas C. Peter D. Matthew Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Matthew, chapter 27, verse 15. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. Question 7. Who was known to interpret dreams? A. Solomon B. Daniel C. Samson D. Eli Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Daniel, chapter 01, verse 17. As for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom, and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Question 8. Who became king after King David? A. Rehoboam B. Saul C. Solomon D. Ahab Time to think. The right answer is letter C. 1 Kings, chapter 02, verse 12. Then sat Solomon upon the throne of his father David, and his kingdom was established greatly. Question 9. Which prophet was swallowed by a big fish? A. Elijah B. Isaiah C. Jonah D. Elisha Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Jonah, chapter 01, verse 17. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Question 10. Who was the sister of Moses and Aaron? A. Deborah B. Esther C. Ruth D. Miriam Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Exodus, chapter 15, verse 20. And Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dances. Question 11. Which woman is known for her loyalty to her mother-in-law, Naomi? A. Abigail B. Ruth C. Bathsheba D. Rahab Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Ruth Chapter 01, verse 16. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee, 
For whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Question 12. Whose strength was in his hair? A. Gideon B. Samson C. Solomon D. Absalom Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Judges, chapter 16, verse 17, that he told her all his heart, and said unto her, There hath not come a razor upon mine head, for I have been a Nazarite unto God from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. Question 13. Who was the shortest reigning king in Israel, reigning only seven days? A. Zimri B. Jehoram C. Jehosh D. Josh Time to think. The right answer is letter A. 1 Kings, chapter 16, verse 15. In the twenty and seventh year of Asa king of Judah did Zimri reign seven days in Tirzah, and the people were encamped against Jibbethon, which belonged to the Philistines. Question 14. Who was turned into a pillar of salt? A. Jezebel. B. Lot's wife. C. Delilah. D. Athaliah. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Genesis, chapter 19. Verse 26, But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. Question 15. Who had a vision of a ladder reaching to heaven? A. Jacob B. Isaiah C. Zechariah D. Amos Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Genesis, chapter 28, verse 12. And he dreamed, and behold a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven, and behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it. Question 16. Which king was known for his wisdom and wealth but allowed his foreign wives to turn his heart after other gods? O Saul, B. Jehoshaphat, C. Hezekiah, D. Solomon. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. 1 Kings, chapter 11, verse 4. For it came to pass, when Solomon was old, that his wives turned away his heart after other gods, and his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God, as was the heart of David his father. Question 17. Who prophesied the dry bones in the valley coming to life? A. Ezekiel. B. Daniel C. Jeremiah 
D. Hosea. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 4. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Question 18. Which priest and scribe led a group of returnees from Babylon and wrote a book in the Bible? A. Malachi B. Zerubbabel C. Ezra D. Nehemiah Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Ezra, chapter 7, verse 6. This Ezra went up from Babylon, and he was a ready scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. And the king granted him all his request according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. Question 19. Which king had a hand appear and write a message on the wall during his feast? A. Darius B. Cyrus C. Belshazzar D. Artaxerxes Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Daniel, chapter 5, verse 5. In the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace, and the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Question 20. Who was told in a vision to rise, kill, and eat, signifying the acceptance of Gentiles. A. Peter B. Paul C. Barnabas D. John Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Acts, chapter 10, verses 13 to 15. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill, and eat. But Peter said, Not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. And the voice spake unto him again the second time, What God hath cleansed, that call not thou common. Question 21. Which prophet was commanded by God to marry a prostitute to illustrate Israel's unfaithfulness? O. Joel B. Hosea C. Amos D. Micah Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Hosea, chapter 1, verse 2. The beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea. And the Lord said to Hosea, Go, take unto thee a wife of whoredoms and children of whoredoms. For the land hath committed great whoredom, departing from the Lord. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do.
If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.